What's up guys, Jared back. So yeah, as you can see, I've got a bit of a different angle here today. I'm just kind of trying it out, testing out the waters. Change is good sometimes. Also, I have my microphone right there, so you'll probably find that as I'm getting used to this camera angle, I'm gonna be looking at the camera to make sure that the items are in frame, and so it might sound like my voice is a little bit farther away. Anyways, the point of this video that I wanted to make was um, this little product right here from Me Nova. Now this actually started out as a Kickstarter campaign, a very successfully uh, funded Kickstarter campaign, because it's just an awesome idea, and there's nothing else like this out there. This is a mini micro SD card reader with a micro USB plug on it. So if you guys are still confused and you can't think of what you would use that for, um, well for $12, if your device doesn't have expandable storage, this is your solution. So your device um, might have one of two things going on with it. Uh, it has USB OTG slash USB mass storage. Um, compatibility or it doesn't. If it doesn't, you're going to need a special application, but we'll get into that in just a moment. So to show you for $12, this is what you get. You get some stuff for your keychain here, um, which is a great idea because I'll probably be doing the same thing. I pulled the micro SD card out of my Galaxy S4 and I'm going to be using this in here at all times so I can hold different um, folders for different devices that I have um, with ROMs and mods and um, whatever else I might want. Maybe I want to help my buddies out with custom and ROMs and things like that. Um, so I can always bring whatever information and data and files I need with me on the go like that. Um, it also has a little adapter bit here. So as you can see here, if I can get the angling correct, um, you got little uh, standard USB 2.0, but then on the bottom, you've got this micro USB plug. So you would then take your um, adapter your micro USB or I should say a micro SD card to micro USB adapter and plug that in the bottom. And as you can see, it's just a little cap here just go ahead and pop that off and here's the adapter itself right so there's a little micro usb and that would obviously plug into this that way if you have your uh, micro sd card in here you can go ahead plug this into there like oh god i'm gonna get this right okay uh, plug it in like that and then just go ahead and plug that in your computer then obviously you can load any files you want onto the micro uh, sd card that's located inside the little device there so that's really really convenient i think you get quite a bit of a bang for your buck really um the build quality of this thing is questionable and you know i can actually feel a little bit of wiggling when i do that you may even be able to see it moving ever so slightly so you do have to be careful with it but it's 12 dollars so you know, just be gentle with it. Worst case scenario, you break it and you order another one for $12. But if you have a device that um, doesn't have expandable storage, that's probably worth it for you guys. So let's go ahead and demonstrate. So I'm gonna go ahead and just toss in my uh, micro SD card right there. And we'll go ahead to my Nexus 5. And as a lot of you guys may or may not know, um, the Nexus 5 is capable of USB OTG slash uh, USB mass storage, but it's not enabled for whatever bloody reason Google thought that would be a good idea to disable it. So anyways, uh, that's where we have to download this application from Chainfire. I'll see if I can bring it in for you guys here. Uh, it's called Stick Mount, okay? Now there's a pro version and a free version. From what the free version offers, that's all I need for now. Um, but anyways, so once you've enabled that, oh, and by the way, you do need a rooted device if your phone, again, isn't um, capable of doing USB OTG or USB mass storage, you know, natively. Um, anyway, so we've installed that because we're rooted and all we do is just go ahead and plug it in and we'll see if, there we go, tells us, okay, it's searching. You can see a little light happening, so it's now detected it. Stick mount has been granted user, super user permission. It's mounted that SD card. So from that point, what we're gonna go ahead and do is go to our file explorer, and you'll notice here that it has been detected USB storage. So I'm gonna click on that, click on SDA1, and there's all of my files in there. So I've got a bunch of different ROM files and other things, um, and so on and so forth, which is awesome. And then all we have to do is go ahead and unplug it when you wanna, when you're done using it. Obviously it's still showing the remnants of the last um, screen that was there, but if I click on refresh, you'll notice that now that folder is gone, um, which is awesome because that just proves the point, it works. Um, so really, really useful little device. Uh, again, I'm gonna be keeping this on my keychain at all times now, and that way I can carry around whatever ROMs, whatever files, pictures, movies, anything I need um, can be with me at all times and I can plug into any device I want, any device I want, as long as it's rooted, if I say any device. Anyways, guys, um, that's it. I'll be posting a link in the description for this so you can go and pick one up for yourself if you need one. Again, it's only $12, definitely well worth the money. Um, but that's it. If you like this video, click that likes button down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And thanks for watching as always. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers.